yesterday we was filming and one of the craziest uh, uh, times in, in Drink Champs history is when we used to have the Elliot Wilson train Ooh. and then Elliot Wilson pulled up and he pointed at us and we all said, the Elliot Wilson train and pulled hey. back and hey. he is here, now hey. in the press. Hey. Elliot Wilson, hey. fucking hey. And before we start anything, let me just say something. Uh, whenever a person comes in, in the presence of Rakim, whenever a person comes in the presence of Nas, whenever a person comes in the presence of Jay-Z, uh, everyone should start off their conversation and start off their sentence by saying, you are the GOAT. Uh. No, you know it. And I would, I, would, I would like to start off this by saying, you are the GOAT. Thank you. And, what the fuck, and we all come from your tree. Whether you as a rapper, trying to get an interview from you, <laughs> <laughs> or now a rapper trying to compete right? with you. You know my nightmares about this story. <laughs> Cause this is crazy. Why y'all do this to me, man? <laughs> this is crazy. But let's just let's just take it from the beginning. Um, why? <laughs> um, what's our um, projects, man? What's um, our projects? Um, you 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 started into this hip hop thing, and was it Echo that you started at? No, oh, uh, nah, beat down, nah. beat down, beat down, beat down. That's what I'm thinking, thinking of. I'm, I'm, IG keep it, Sasha Jenkins. Okay, Sasha Jenkins. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Shout out Sasha. Pick up Sasha Jenkins. Yeah. Yeah. Sasha the key. Thing. Sasha was the one that taught me like you could do your own shit in this. Yeah. Like you and Sasha went to school? How did? No, I met him. Uh, we went. We actually went to high school. We didn't know each other, and then like I saw him at a party, Karis one party, mm -hmm. and we connected. He told me about the magazine we was doing, and then we became real good friends. And right. We did beat down for two years, and it was like, okay, let's do something else ourselves, and that was ego trip. Ego trip. Ego trip. Ego trip. Yeah. 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 Remember, yeah. I, it's funny because we had our last our last issue, I think Death Squad's on the cover. Why? And we did something with you with like a psychiatrist or some kind of crazy oh, shit. I do remember that. Okay. And it's just like, is Noriega diabolical? Right, or some right, shit right, in the cover right, line. Right, right, the right, sticker right, is diabolical. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> so, so okay, boom. So I'm from there. <laughs> but wait, did you go to journalism school? Did you? Nah, study? no, not at all. No, that was just something that you fell into. He kid from. Queens, just right. loving the culture. Run DMC was the inspiration. Like that was my shit. Like I was right. like, I went, and I read the source. I was like, I want to be the like they had the music editor at the source, Reginald C. Dennis. Yep. I was like, I right. want to be that guy. He gets all the albums for the shits come out. Right. Yep. He reviews them. Right. He controls the mics. That's right. what I wanted. I wanted to right. control the mics. Like, right. I didn't give a fuck about editor in chief and right. 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 I wanted every Air Rap album before anybody else had it. Right. And I wanted to give the mics. Right. That's all I cared about. Oh, so when Dave Mays changed the mics, that's why I quit. And that's right. what the falling out was. Okay, let's 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 let's, let's not, describe not the speed, that. but okay, let's <laughs> describe that. So what you mean Dave Mays changed the mics? What do you mean? He changed the review of um what was it? Uh Corrupt and then uh I think a cannabis record. Like he changed the reviews on me. He changed the mics on him without telling me. Oh, like what right. you had said, he changed that. Without talking so to me. So which gave him three and a half and then he gave him four? Yeah, yeah. He he, like, he piped it up and took it down, whatever. Oh, so shit. That was the thing. Like, even with Ray, I have no real problem with Ray. I had right. a problem with Dave Mays. Wow. Let me tell you something. Years later, I'm talking about, this is years later. Um, After the Source Awards, because Tilt the Shocker beat me in the Source Awards. Let's just be clear. <laughs> You were you know, traumatized by yeah, that. Right? Yeah, 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 I'm traumatized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, I love you, Silk the Shocker. Um, but he beat me, Pun, DMX, Corrupt, uh, Cavadonna, that's that, Camera. That's that no limit advertising camera, up another way. Right, listen, every <laughs> other page was so that. Master B, Master B would used to call and book his own ads back yeah, in the day. So listen, let me just yeah, say yeah, something. Yeah. So years later, I don't want to say where, but me and um, Benzino, we, we, we live on the same block. Of course. And I just, I just say something to him, and he's like, and he doesn't admit it, but he goes, <laughs> he goes, he goes, you still mad? And I'm like, this is years later. I'm like, yo. And he goes, he goes, but they were spending seventy five thousand to add. And you got to think about what seventy five thousand was back then. Yeah. And then think about yeah. how many ads they had. It was like every other page. No. It was every other fucking page. But, but, but it started with Master P. I remember he used to call, but it was like they wasn't on yet like that. Right. It's before where the I'm About It movie came out. That's right. when it took off. Right. So he would call and book the the, back, the cheap ads in the back of the book. Cheap he ads. He would call oh, wow. the shit. He'd be the Master P. Yeah. Right. Book, book. Like he did all that from so they would, I right. remember we did a cover of him. And Maze was like, yo, is he really good enough to be the whole cover? Like, should right. we split the cover? Like, right. we had like money behind him and shit. I was like, yo, he's the guy right now. New Orleans, right. like, he's taking off. So right. Right. that's probably what it was. They were so used to dealing with him on some business shit. Right. He literally, like, Came from like the, the classified ads, the back of the book. The classified, yeah. That's yeah, why I got my DJ so starter started, kit. Yeah, is that so? <laughs> that's we went from booking that shit to booking like major shit. So wow. that's what it was. By the way, we've been here way too long without popping a bottle of Ace. And if y'all don't know, last night, me and Elliot hung out all night <laughs> last night. 
We drank. We we didn't even we're talk. Friends, yeah, though, yeah, we're friends. Friends. So beautiful. It's so beautiful, like to sit around and just chop it up. You know what I mean? Like no bullshit. Just and so we can. If and I would ask you to pop a bottle of Ace, I but I don't have no shit. faith in you at all. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't pop the champagne yes. bottles. Yo, 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 would you like to show off let's tonight? Go, let's do all right, cool. Let me let me let you pop this. But one. I do want to say I love that I was sitting doing last night. I told, I told him if I was like I like how you got that shine with the ice cube shit. Oh, okay. Because you like your you know you quiet legend, you humble, your humble right. soul type nigga. But right. you you that nigga. So right. I love how the ice cube shit happened and like organically like right. the attention to that. Right, so obviously you know, and we all hip hop. We know Ice Cube's a great storyteller, but maybe a generation doesn't know. Right, right, right. So you educating them with that. So right, right. appreciate it. And, and by the way, and by the way, let me just tell you something. That's EFN every episode. It's just he <laughs> argues with me every episode. So people, people don't understand that he's a passionate dude. I can't get him. I'm Cuban. I can't, I can't get. I can't get him. I can't get, him to, I can't get him to get a chain. I can't get him to get a watch. He's just he's taking. He's has. He's spending none of that drink. He has money. Of his money. Yeah. But um, he's a passionate guy, and, and, and it was so dope to see how many people called me and was like, "Yo, um, you know, EFN has a point." And I was, and then it was other people who from Brooklyn. I was like, for a long time, I don't go to Brooklyn. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Best not, I just cut it off the list. You know what I mean? Because, but well, I was just playing. I was just playing. You know, that's joking. That's but a BK people say, yo, you was right though. Actually, yeah, because it's, it's very, it's a very healthy conversation. Absolutely. Like, um, and that's what I feel like hip hop. I mean, I, I felt that with you the other day. Um. Yeah, and, uh, Segway King. Yeah, no, 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 no. I did, I did okay, because. Okay, Yeah, no, 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 no. I did because <laughs> I had to actually think about it. Like the thing about it is, that's what hip hop was based on at one point. One point it was like, yo, I'm better than you. Doesn't mean I'm better than you. Right. Yeah, Doesn't 100%. mean I'm a better person yes. than you. I'm just saying I'm better than you. And a lot of times. It, it trickled down to beefs and it trickled down to other things. When in the beginning. I don't remember KRS One and I don't remember uh, MC Shan saying I'm gonna shoot you or whatever. Or, yeah. or, 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 or Kumo cool D yeah. and um, the, uh, these people. Now uh, I don't remember that. And, 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 uh, I don't remember that. I remember them saying I'm just better than you and battling you. So yeah. I think that that this generation and what we're going through, like um, sometimes when we say that. Uh, and they automatically think it's a negative thing. So I know where you're coming from. Sonori agrees yeah, with me with that. Yeah, when I, I said the competition, no, no. never said competition anymore, right? Y yes, uh -huh. I agree with you. Yo, Ross, what, what type of shit you just did? <laughs> you gonna pop the bottle and put it back in there? Hey, look away! Hey, look away! Look away. Look away. <laughs> come on, we, come on. Yeah, was in the middle of a me, me and Elliot Wilson got drunk as hell last night. And um, um, but so what I say is, I say that to say, you know, um, I love that you and Rob. You know, um, you know, yeah, whatever, I had, whatever. To, I had to call him real quick. Yes, right? I love that. I love that. I love Shout that. Shout out, Rob. Shout out, Rob. I love Rob. that because, um, to tell you the truth, again, I, I want to reiterate I'm gonna something. I'm going to keep real on that. You don't want that? Because Rob, we get competitive at times, me and Rob right. Markman. Shout right. out, Rob Markman. Right. Because y'all worked and together that, at one point, right? Well, I helped him at XXL early days and stuff, mm -hmm. but then, you know, he's shining on his own. Mm -hmm. So he gets competitive. I get all that. So, um, I don't remember what, exactly what it was, but I think it was something about like a Babyface interview. We both were trying to interview Babyface, some crazy uh -huh. shit. And then we kind of fell out. Mm. And then this nigga really blocked me on Twitter. Like he was like right. blocking me like this. Like, <laughs> I, was like, I was like, yo. And I was like, yo, I got beef with Rob Markman. Like, I like, I like dude. Like, right. so, right. but I, I, I accept my fault in that shit. So, Hovane's funeral, mm -hmm. we pulled up. And I had a Rest feeling. Hovane, like, by Rest the way. I had a feeling like me and, I was like, if I see Rob Markman, I'm gonna squash in that shit. Mm -hmm. Fuck it. Mm. Like, that's not. I know Hovane would want us to be 100 with each other. Absolutely. You know, so. And then Rob, to his credit, he came to me first. So we right. squashed it. So when that shit happened, I'm like, yo, I don't want to go back to having no beef with this. Right. Like, I, that's why we right. called and talked it out. So salute to Rob. But let me ask you, and this is over all honesty, Elliot. You ever think that you're too competitive? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, I love that. Come on, he's Petty King. I'm really torn with this shit. I take it personally, nigga. Like yo, yo, Sway is the most beloved figure in hip hop. Yes. So for me to step on his moment, which Rob said was wrong, I agree. Okay, so who says Sway is the goat? Who says I have the right to say that I'm the fucking goat? Yes. Nobody was branding themselves as that shit before me. Right. Nor you know we come from an era where it's like radio and press. But right? who, who, who was, was the artist? Everybody's media now. Everybody's media. Yeah, so. But who was the artist that um, um, said that Sway was the GOAT and you commented on it? Uh, huh? Who was the artist that said Sway Lil was the GOAT? Little Baby and uh, okay, okay. Milo. Okay. But they and, were saying that because they were like, yo, he's a good guy. We fuck with him. Like, he's cool. Like He respects mm -hmm. us, so we show mm -hmm. love to him. So 
I'm not going to be the most beloved. You but. know what I compare that to? <laughs> yeah, I compare that to Jay-Z calling himself the GOAT and then and then Al, Al invented himself as mm-hmm. the GOAT. And who is Absolutely. wrong? Like, who is wrong? Like, can't I can't that. say Jay-Z is not the GOAT and I can't say Al, Al is not the GOAT. I love Ho. We yes. love Ho. That's yes. our friend. Yes, yes. But I was I was actually, I have the same January 14th birthday as LL Cool J. So maybe uh, that's part of my whole shit. Like, uh, I feel like I'm the GOAT. I'm just going to try to prove it to you. Like, mm-hmm. I'm just focused on that. Like, I, it's important to me. But, Elliot, let me just tell you something. Why in? In case you don't know, this is Drink Champs about giving people their flowers. And this is a this is a mini version of it. But let me just tell you something. What you did for hip-hop, your passion for hip-hop, and how you pursued it, and how you would go and get interviews in people's hoods. You would do, <laughs> you would do whatever you had. Let trust me. Hood, trust man. me. Trust me. Let me just tell you something. We recognize. We know. Don't nobody <laughs> want to compete with you. We want to eat with you. A lot of people want to eat with you, but what it is is, I feel like, I feel like, no, I just want to be honest. I feel like as soon as we get a little closer to the rim, you be like blocking our shot, and we like, yo, motherfucker, we're just gonna out of you, you the ball. <laughs> How you feel, like, man? You think I go too crazy with it? How you feel? Yeah, Yo, you feel? It seems like. <laughs> You real petty with it. You real petty yeah, with it. Yeah, yeah. I'm not mad at you, but you yeah. real petty with it. Yeah. And, and by the and way, your no caption posts are the illest pettiest things right, I've ever seen in right. my life. Right. <laughs> but, but one thing for sure, two things for certain. Yes, we sir. know you for the culture. Yeah, yeah. we know you again. You Authentic. a goat. Uh, and authentic. like this thing, this is what I don't get credit for. Okay, it's like. Y'all niggas be doing this fucking five-hour interview. Yeah. God bless y'all. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Right. I hear about EFN, the Ice Cube, him and Yale. Right. I literally ripped... I'm not in your social media team, nigga. Right. I'm Elliot Wilson. Right, right, right. I rip like, the segment mm-hmm. that I think is the hottest segment mm-hmm. of the fucking interview. Mm-hmm. I put the shit up. Mm-hmm. You get engagement, nigga. Right, like, I'm, right. I'm doing your right. job. We love that. Right. Right. That's we what I that. do. Nobody else reps nobody else's content that right. way. We love so that. So as competitive as I am, I right. still acknowledge, like, if, yo, you hit the winning yep, shot. Yep, yep. Right. No, win. and, Nobody and that, does it like that, ever. No, you're correct. And Let me give you a high five. Let me give you a high five. And, 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 that's and, and, that's and, known as right. And it never will. Yes, that's right. That's right. niggas is too insecure. In fact, I think... I think World Star bid off of you. I think you did that first, that. and then World Star bid off. I created all social media strategy and style. Man, right. you're working the business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Cheese, cheeseburgers. <laughs> now nah, I started the whole social media strategy style with that shit. Like mm-hmm. nobody was doing it at the time. So right, that's right. right. So um, hold on. You know what I got to witness though? Yeah, I got to witness. Elliot Wilson and Eddie the Ass Eater have an ass eating conversation <laughs> Whoa. for like 10 minutes. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, when was yeah. this happening? I never thought, wait up, wait I never up. thought in my life I would hear this behind me. I never thought and it I right did not like it. I did not like it. I did not like it. Like, oh my God, I wasn't ready. You, you're supposed to text me to this next question. That was, I was not ready. I was not ready. Man, but, hey, man. um, so, Oh, and that's pre-marriage. That's the way yeah, that you yeah, yeah. That's But let me ask you. Let me ask you. This is real talk. <laughs> yes, sir. And I want you to be honest, as honest as you can be. Because I felt this way, too. Mm-hmm. But obviously, you might have felt this way way before me. The fact that everybody has a computer set. Look at that. A mic mm-hmm. and a speaker. Everyone thinks that they can now be a, be a journalist or part of media. Or even a phone. Yeah. Now, some of these guys are worthy. Some of these guys are funny. Absolutely. Some of these guys are like way okay. But then some of these guys just look at what another person is doing and say, I'm going to mimic that. Yeah. And everyone kind of feels like, that's why I hate being on social media, because at that time, we're all on the same level. Yeah. It doesn't matter how much I am or how less I am or whatever, whatever. Did you ever think? that the media game would be this watered down? Man, I, I didn't think it was uh, not watered down, but so active. Like, I, right. But then it makes sense. Like We were talking about a little bit last night. I was uh-huh. like, it would make sense that someone like yourself, that like Ugh. MVP in the game, right. like right. you see Charles Barkley, right. you, you made the transition, right? right? So you have a whole generation that doesn't even know Charles Barkley. I'm more like, like a Shaq. credible player. I'm more like Shaq because yeah. I want championships. Shaq. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So okay. my thing is like you don't make that segue. It makes so sense that. that you come from the culture and like you would stay in it, Kenny Smith, and become commentators on the culture. But no, I didn't see that, and also I didn't think that media would be looked at as like a cool thing. It wasn't cool right. back yes. then. I was the nigga trying to lead that. That is cool. Right. right. People bought into the YM persona. This guy's crazy. He's right. battling the source. Like right. they connected to that thing that made it somewhat cool. If you right. were riding with us, it was against them. You connected to that. So. That's what bugs me out is that, like, it's cool. And then the other thing I said to you yesterday, too, is, uh, like, 
Noriega. Right. Joe Budden. Fat right. Joe. Right. Gilly the motherfucking right. kid. Yeah. Right, yes. You always know disrespect right. knuckleheads. You yes. always like yes. the wild, the wild right. live wire dudes. Right. So for right. y'all to like figure right. it out right. and be whatever it is, right. I, I never saw that coming. Love to all y'all. You know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? What I always, I always, I always knew I was more than an artist because I always remembered I would never want to be late. Yeah. And when I never was late, I remember um, a friend of mine. His name is Rob Love. Shout out Rob. Oh, shout out Rob. I know Rob. And Rob Love used to Rob say, "Love, shoot. you're not an artist." And I used to be like, "What?" And he used to be like, "No artist comes on time." And another person who reiterated that was my friend Shampoo. So uh, big up the shampoo. I think he's around here somewhere. And I knew I was I was destined to do something else. Now was was it media? No, no way. Now I, we just hung out with uh, uh, Cypher Styles and Rosenberg. Now Cypher Styles and Rosenberg is credited the first first hip hop podcast. They were. They absolutely they, were. And, and what do you feel about that? Um, because they, they were. They, 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 <laughs> They're, they're lucky that both of them, they both of them, Cypher has a luxurious career. I just on on tour. You know, him. I was their first guest. Get the fuck out of here. First guest. Never talk about that. First guest. God damn it! They, they don't be giving you your flowers. Yeah, because I re yeah, I recognize people when they like. I was like, yo, what y'all doing is cool. I want to be a guest on the shit. No, guest. So I did it. Yo, it's the first guest on one app scene. Wow. Salute to them. Wow. That's my point. Is like, I guess my whole thing was when you look at me. I'm the most competitive, and I guess sometimes I do go too far. You think? But at the same time, nobody gives as many love and assist as I do, too. That's the passion. I, I, yeah, that's, that's a passion. Yeah, that's yeah. A passion. yeah. so I'm not, I'm that's not a no foul dude. I'm no not going to ever, like, take your shine away. Right. Like, right. that's a great moment. You you and Yayo right. talking about motherfucking Ice Cube and That was passion. That shit is legendary. So right. that dessert, I'm a rap fan. I want to see that on my timeline. Your cup. So that's why I ripped that shit, because that's cup. what's important right. in the culture. Right. You know what I mean? So... My thing is, I'm always challenging the status quo, but I always, like, at the end of the day, I'm always going to play the game the right way. I'm not yes. going to play in a foul way. I'm always going to credit, you know, the situation. Like, So do you think there's a lack of okay, passion? Hold on, hold on. Do you think there's a lack of passion in hip-hop journalism? Absolutely, period? absolutely, yeah. There's no yeah, passion. Some people are doing it just like how... Nori has the passion. That's yes. it. Like, that's what I said. Again, going back to my live wire guys, Nori, right. but... The thing why they win is they have the passion. Right, right. Nobody was like, Joe Budden is really going to be this dedicated to do what he does. Right. Nobody was like, Nori is going to be this dedicated to right. what he does. I said, I asked Nori last time, I'm like, yo, Nori, how you still stay motivated? Like, what what gets you right to, like, why do you care? Why are you so motivated? Like, right. he'll still go back on me. You know, he's like, yo, Elliot, it's time to talk to you again. Because right. in his mind, he's building content all the time in his mind. So... That's that dedication. I respect it. And by the way, like I said um, yesterday, and, and I, I didn't realize it was live yesterday, but, you know, it was at one point, um, we was just, you know, going Twitter back and forth, just doing what competitors competitors do. And I, um, um, B -Dot, B Dot said, and I, I will always give him the credit for this, and B Dot said, the difference between us is we're really fans. And that, that was the one quote. It wasn't disrespectful at all. He didn't curse. He didn't say, fuck you. He didn't, <laughs> he didn't say, fuck my mother. He, didn't speak, he just said, you're really a fan. And I sat back and I was like, that shit hit me so hard because it's like, how the fuck can I really be a fan of DMX when I want his number one spot? How can I you be a fan with DMX of with DMX in corrupt? real time. How can I be a fan yeah, of these 98. guys? So, yeah. And I'm thinking about it and I'm like, damn, that was so true. So instead of me actually, you know, um, you know, uh, rebutted it or whatever. What I did was, you know what? I, I I threw away my artistry. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna now. Re I'm gonna now reintroduce myself. My name is Fan. You know what I'm saying? And I went and I went back and I listened to Illmatic. I went back and I listened to to Biggie's because I was like, you know what? I wanted to do that, and that, that shit made me better. Like, and even, 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 like, we had this funny joke, and I always wanted to ask you about this. The Elliot Wilson train, mm -hmm. like, what we was doing because he was both on CBS. <laughs> that shit and, was hilarious. And what happened was, uh, yeah, how did that start? I don't even know how that really started. How did that really start? Damn, we, 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 we was at a, at a spot that had a train track next to it, and every right. time we had a good moment in the pod, right. that train would come. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and this is when we were being competitive in CBS with each other, yeah, you know, back yeah. and forth. And then we would be like, Elliot Wilson, Sabotaging man. Yeah. Us, man. Yo, it was so fun. But by the way, the fans loved that. Yeah. And, yeah, and by the absolutely. way, to me, I, I believe me, you, EFN, and B dot. We we built the what is podcasting now. Of course, with Joe Budden. 
Mm-hmm. Of course, with Joe Buck. Um, we built it. Uh, I believe the people that kind of started it was Simon Sounds, Rosenberg, Combat Jack. Uh, can't forget uh, Tax Stone, even though he has. Ice T. No, uh, so Ice T is. Ice T was the first. Going rapper. back to internet radio. Yes. Rapper, so uh, I like, I like where Nori's going with this. He's saying that some about rap radar and drink champs. Yeah, rap radar and we, champs. Yeah. Because what happened the was what happened was we Break started down, make, we all. started making the algorithms <laughs> change because people started to uh, listen. Even though we, we were competitive against each other, mm-hmm. but it was like competitive. What's guests that y'all have? Boom, 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 and then that was that one year I believe y'all had Drake and then Jay at b- back to back, and we was like, fuck. It was we. It was the pod wars. It hadn't we happened. Was like, <laughs> the pod wars hadn't happened. Yo, and it was fun. We it like, was like rap battles. It was fun for the audience, yes, and it yes. made them engage more with us. You know how bad I was that that fucking Kanye shit, oh, the yeah, fucking yeah. Pharrell <laughs> shit, no. fucking no, Cameron no, shit. Because I said it on um, Complex, we gotta say it on our, our, our own shit. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I searched for where the fuck they did Jay Z's in the US. <laughs> I just was like, yo. Oh, this is I funny. was like, yo. So I searched, I'm searching, and then I become a member of Malibu House, <laughs> right? So Malibu. It's the whole beach Malibu. I actually, I actually rented a house just to become a member of Malibu House. Because anybody who's a part of Soul House, you know, you could do the all house, or you could do the local house, or you could do whatever. I did the all house, but then I realized when I came to Malibu one time, they was like, you can't get in, motherfucker. And I was like, so I rented a house, and I ran here. And I ran, when they said that I'm accepted, I ran, I went to orientation. I'm walking around doing all this dumb shit. And when they walk me into this room, I'm with nothing but white people and one black dude with dreads. <laughs> he, he looks like he paints or something. I don't know. And we stood there and I looked into this room. I said, these motherfuckers. Uh, <laughs> And I'm like, holy shit! But that's that. That's what's crazy. And this is I'm something. I'm gonna tell you for a story. Hold on, let me just let me right. just ask you this. This is what's crazy. One, that was remarkable because it made it seem like it was Jay Z crib. But two, <laughs> what made y'all fucking do the interview in black and white? That whole era, I was doing everything black and white because we had the, the CBS radio era. Okay. So with Tidal, I was like, yo, it's got to be kind it. of a rebirth. Right. So I wanted everything to be black and white. So remember, we did y'all black right. and white. Like one of the Ooh. first ones we did. Yeah. You and EFN. Right. It's like we had did that like it was the fourth episode. So Will Smith changed that shit because B. I was like, yo, we did it in Hungary. Will Smith had rented out the hotel. Right. The shit looked fly as fuck. And where did you get it? Hungary? Be that, be, hung, but Budapest, Hungary. Yeah, and Hungary is already black and white. What like, a stunt. Without, without, so without B-Dot was like, yo, we got to do this in color. Right. And then we went right back to color. But wow. before that, every episode was black and white because of that. That's why it was. I wanted to be like classic. But and do you still own that episode? Yeah, absolutely. So could you drop that episode in color? Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. yeah I could. That. I could. Look at that. Look at that. Look at Okay. Yes, the boys, we're going to be divided. Yeah. I mean, let's just be, like that. Let's just be like clear. One, Yo, Randy's um, an animal, Randy. Yeah, listen, no, no, one, can, you know, let me just tell you something. Um, Buster Rhymes and Nas is my friend, and I always tell them, just because <laughs> I'm you're my friend. Too, no, I'm, I'm, friend no, 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 I'm telling you this. I'm explaining to that. Just because you're my friend doesn't take away from me being your fan. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, and I'm just saying that that would be crazy. Um, Again. again oh, let me tell you about the Malibu. So the Malibu shit was like, um, damn, let me, we had a couple, like, you know, you know how it is, like, you're going to get the big interview. Okay, so he finally agreed. Finally agreed. Okay. So then it's like, okay, and I'm still living in New York. He's like, well, come to Cali or whatever. So I was told B that we're not hitting them till we land. Right. Because you know how Castle yeah. changed their mind? Like, yes. So I'm like, he gave us a go. Right. I'm entitled at the time, boom, boom, right. boom. So I'm like, we get in the plane, boom. We land. As soon as we landed, I was like, "Okay, where are we? Where are we doing this? You know, mm-hmm. Ho, what are we doing?" Like, he's like, "No, was it back and forth?" And then he said, "The Soul House." Right. And I thought it was the Hollywood joint. Oh, I yeah. thought it was the main one yeah. in Hollywood. Right. Then it's like Malibu. I'm like, "Oh right. shit, we got to get to the." Da, da, da. So we yeah. got there, and that's that's how it went down. But the funny thing that happened was it was set up with all the food that was geeked out because he right. was coming, and I wanted the whole thing of like the whole. Um, I wanted the window to kind of be open so you could hear the, the, the sea breeze type vibe of yeah. it. Wow. Yeah. And they was like, that's going to fuck up the sound, fuck up the sound. Yeah. But then once Jay sat down, they all fanboyed out. So they forgot <laughs> to close the door. <laughs> and we was up and running. So, right. nah, but yeah, that was the cool vibe of it. No, that's why we didn't touch the food. It was just like, yo, let's get to the... Right. We finally have them. Right. And we really didn't eat none of that food. It was st- st- the whole time. Um, Epic. You know what's crazy? When me and Airfin first started... 
y'all was our blueprint. So if you, I don't know if you remember our first couple of episodes, we were standing in front of the CBS sign. <laughs> we were doing the same exact thing. Oh, well, before we even started oh, with you. Oh, I like, remember. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we didn't know. Like, we just didn't know what to do. And then CBS signed us. And then what we did was, like you said, let's just go. Let's just do what... Uh, what, what we wanted, and that was to give people um, their flowers, and I yeah. uh, wanted to give, you know, people that that's forgotten about because, like, we just did an uh, interview with uh, Shay Rock. Mm. That's the first female artist ever invented, and she was Shay Rock. Shay Rock. Shay Rock. Shay Rock. Yeah, Rock. Absolute. Yeah, she was there standing Funny across from one. Scarlett. That was crazy. And to me, this was so that crazy. Was wild. Wow. wow. Because this was the first female. Yeah. yeah. And then this is the new. You know, and that's like, hard. So dope, that's so dope. hard, yeah. And I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, this is what the gods want. This is what the gods of hip hop want this shit. And again, our culture should be preserved so much. Our culture should be, uh, you know, it should be that. It should be, it should be the new teaching the old. The problem is a lot of people don't want it. So what was my man name from yesterday? Uh, that you you had with you that was sitting here? Oh, Akeem from okay. our generation, yeah. Yeah, because he, so, he what, what, I knew him from um, Adam 22. Yeah, he first started with Adam 22. Okay. This is the only thing now. Our generation is a site. Um, our Akeem. generation. So, yeah. so, so is Akeem. that something that you're doing? you embracing new bloggers? Or? Yeah, I never met the brothers. So okay, that was yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, okay. Absolutely. Okay, holy shit, holy shit, man. I'm a nice guy, Nori. Yes, yes, yes. So, <laughs> so let's, who would have known? Let's break down the affiliation with you and uh, uh, Joe Budd. Because affiliation, <laughs> affiliation is that the right word for that? <laughs> you know, I, I don't know. Is it? I'm saying because um something happened where you because you're saying you're back outside and it was noticeable. That, that complex you, shit bothered that, me. That I don't know what it was. Yeah, I don't know what it was. Because it, it seemed me. like you just took a what a complex break. thing. That media list, that shit bothered me. Oh, 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 oh that shit baby. went crazy. You are petty, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Well, a good petty person takes that pettiness. I don't think it's petty. I think it's like, yo, y'all okay. fucked up and y'all lit the fire and like, let me remind y'all. But but his was crazy I, about that complex yeah, list. I'm they the never best. said drink champs. They never said. That's dumb. Yeah. So yeah, that's valid that way. To yeah. me, to me, um, Nori is not as influ influential as drink champs. It's drink champs. That makes it, you know what I mean? So yeah, yeah, I got you. I, I respect the list. Don't get it twisted. I, I, I liked it where I was at. It was cool. But um, I'm going to see it. Where were you at? They don't I was like this. five or something like that. Okay. Yeah, I was five. And they was like, No, I was like, I respect being ahead of Elliot. No, okay. I don't know. No, you know, I just, I'm just, don't, I'm not an influencer. I'm a. Yeah. They had you as influencer? Yeah. <laughs> I felt like I had OnlyFans. Yeah, as a TikToker, yeah. you a TikToker. Yeah. I, felt like, I felt like I had a TikTok on, motherfucker. I don't even got, got an OnlyFans. Like, none of my influencing. I'm influencing shit that was already out. I'm interviewing fucking EPMB, motherfucker. Like, how am I influencing? They was the influencer. And I'm just influencing the oh, guess. So I fuck it. But it was cool. I loved it. Complex. I'm not. No, uh, how do you feel when you know you have one of those interviews, you about to drop that on us and, like, we don't see it coming? And How do you feel now? That's how I felt about the Tony. Yeah, yo, I kid you not. <laughs> really? Yeah, 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 I really. I mean, I knew it was dope, but. Nah, I really no, you know. made a good point last night. Yeah, you yeah, said like really, everybody did. Yeah, yo. Yeah. Vlad's like paying him to yes, sit with him yes, and shit. Yes. So Vlad's let's keep it hundred. Yes, that's that's true. I don't pay everybody, niggas forty k yeah, yeah, to sit yeah, with me. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm paying you shit. I, I believe it's five to ten k. But oh, <laughs> go, 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 go ahead, Vlad. No, go ahead, Vlad. Hang on. But the fact that Yayo's outside doing so much press and shout out to Yayo, he's a good dude. I watched him on the Rapper's Club. I watched him on Vlad TV. I watched. How does Nori make that special? That's the beauty of what you what you do. That's the thing about it. The thing about it is, it's always sitting there. Watching and saying, "Oh, he don't know what he got. She don't know what she got." And I'm realizing that I'm looking at them, and I'm like, "Yo, one, I'm I was in the locker room with Yayo. Yeah, so that's yes, the sir. difference. That's the difference between me being a journalist, me right. me saying, yeah, you know what? But not only that, if, if you don't really realize, I had just had a clip where I was like, "Yo, Fifty and Nelly, I put kind of both of y'all on." Nelly used to be with me. Go ahead, keep going. You want to pop another I'll one? You better know how to pop it. I don't know. I can't do it. I can pop. Okay, cool. So hold on. This one's still open. This one's still oh, open. Oh my bad. Come Lead. Sorry to give me the el especial. Sorry, no, I didn't mean to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. So um, el especial. So uh uh, when I said that, I said to Nelly and because you know Nelly used to hang out in Penalty Records, and then Fifty, I was the first Special. person to do a feature with Fifty. 
two times. Yes, sir. So then I said that I was just playing around, and I saw the comments, and I saw that everybody was like, "Yo, that's so dope," and I was like, "You know what? It's Yayo's time. Mm. It's it's the loyal person's time. It's Gunplay's time. Stand set up, G. It's, yeah. it's 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 Memphis Bleak's time. It's Jim Jones' time. Yeah." You know what I mean? It's it's Jungle's time. Mm, yeah. It's it's, all, it's Emery's time. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's Tata's time. Woo. You know what I mean? It's all the people that were standing next to the man. That's the man. That's that man now that people don't know about. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? And I thought about that because a lot of people don't understand, <laughs> which is crazy. Was Capone was on before me? Yeah, Capone I remember. Was signed I remember. To Faith, I remember. Faith Newman. Yeah. Capone was signed to Faith Newman. So in all actuality, I'm not the front man of CNN. I'm actually the Jim Jones of CNN. I'm actually wow. the Memphis Beat of CNN. I'm actually the Tony Yeo of CNN. In the beginning. In the beginning. In the beginning. I, in the beginning. I, just, I took the motherfucking 50 cent seat. But I started Yo, out has to, the Yeo. hardest, The hottest shit, I don't know if you know. Remember Tommy Boy, you did the solo record? Yes. They put out a snippet. They had like no, that, that was that penalty that records. Pen I got it. Yeah, it was penalty? 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 No, no, no. I can't let you take that away from Neil Levine. Oh, Neil Levine. Neil Levine. Neil Levine. Neil Levine. That was Neil Levine. Sound and the Cypher source. Sounds that and snippet Fletch. shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. On tape. I got it. And then everybody that, that was ever fronting up, you know the whole thing was yeah. like CNN. We got Mob Deep. They sound like Mob Deep. That's right. I love that you brought that up. Remember that? Yeah. Yes, I love that. So then, no, I'm gonna keep it on you. So then, um. Noise steps out. Yeah. You know, sadly, Kabon had to do what he had to do. Yep. Noise steps out, and then it's just like, oh, y'all f- Nori fans all of a sudden? Like, yes. everybody likes Swiss Island. Like, maybe even yeah. your man Dave Mays is running yes. around like, yes. oh, Nori's amazing. And I'm like, yes. wait, word? That's yes. what it was six months ago? Yeah. Like, he wouldn't give me the cover neither. But that, that but that <laughs> snippet, that snippet, though, with the, uh, A lot of people songs. don't know, if you remember that snippet, I Love My Life, it was Nas singing that hook. Yeah. It wasn't called I have that on vinyl with Nas. Yes, it, wasn't, oh. it wasn't called Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have that vinyl. Yes, yes. It's a white so, label. So, um... Yeah, nah, but you was the hot, you was that. But how did that feel? You was the hottest nigga right there, instantly. Oh, uh, oh, uh, um, in the game. No, it all wasn't over instantly. the country. Down south, he was fucking with it. Yeah, no, it wasn't instantly. What I did was, um, I kind of realized the world was leaving New York City. Woo! I knew it because I went down south and juvenile them had already had their own movement. Oh yeah, yeah. Clips and them kind of had their own movement. This is after uh, Capone and Ori. This is me going on tour with 98, Capone. 98, 97 kind of. 97, 98. Because yeah. I, made, I made the album in 97, so this is, and I, I kind of knew. So when, I kind of knew like, other areas is having their moments. We and, connected in 97. And yes. He so, yeah. invested in our relationship yeah. so too. So I made, wow. I made the album actually in Miami Oh, I didn't know that. That's I made half of the album. I made most of the album, and the other half with Trackmaster Tone, yeah. um, Tone and Polk, and Steve Stout. Y'all don't get enough credit for the NRE album. The Jungle, Jungle. You know Shout what I mean? They, they all brung me. Half of the album I did in Miami, and the other half I did in Bearsville. So, <laughs> so I didn't. But when I went to the clubs in Miami, what I would understand was they would be like this, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> so in Pharrell, this is the funniest shit in the world. I connect for real. I got the tight shirt on. <laughs> and everybody is working full. What color was it? What color was it? I don't remember, but it wasn't. It, it wasn't gangster color. Whatever it was, it wasn't and, gangster color. <laughs> and he had the tight shirt. And he said to me, he, "I listened to two beats." And he said, "Listen to this third beat." And I remember exactly. He's like, "Don't listen to this third beat till you get to Miami." And I had a Walkman on. This was CD shit. And I listened to the first beat. I listened to the second beat. And I, I was so curious for the third beat. I landed. Went to the Kent Hotel. The whatever, Kent. whatever. The Kent Hotel still is open. The most wow. nastiest hotel. I'm gonna just stay there just to humble myself. What? For real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna stay there, not even go in the room. I'm gonna just go to the bar and just leave. You know what I'm saying? Just to humble myself. But anyway, I wrote the whole Super Thug there. As soon as I heard that shit, I wrote that shit. I came back, and when I realized that this was a South beat, no matter how New York I rhymed on it, it was. So this is the reason why bounce. that was my first record. That resonated in the South. Yep. Mm, like yeah. I was number one in New York, but I was number one in the South at the same time. Yeah, yeah. And I was really number one in the Bay Area. The only place I wasn't number one was LA. And I always attributed that to the, like, oh, okay, maybe the LA, LA shit. So I spent so much time in LA at that time, um, trying to 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 do it. And yeah. that's where I formed all my relationships. But let's get back to you. Journalism. 
in the beginning, it was this mic system. The mic <laughs> in the beginning, at, at that shit was important, right? Now, yo, yo, listen, I mean, mics I mean, meant everything. I don't want to say in the beginning, like this is the beginning of the hip hop. I'm saying in the beginning for my version, like when the mic system happened. I remember if you went, you got four mics, you immediately went gold, you immediately went platinum. Was that something that was left up to you, or that was something that was the staff mean? They told me that. Uh, <laughs> You have to like get the advanced cassettes because that's the whole thing. Press would send the advanced cassettes. They right. dub it. You make cassettes for everybody on staff. Right. And then we're going to have a big meeting and discuss it. Uh-huh. So I remember it was early in the year. It was like April or so. It was like, so the, it wasn't a big release. It was like Warren G and like some other releases that nobody right. cared about. Right. So I called the meeting and nobody shows up to the meeting. Right. So because like, of the music you're saying? Yeah, because it wasn't like priority. It wasn't resonating like if Rock with Kim them? comes out with his album, everybody right. cares. Well, or what are you saying? This is when the mic system got invented? Right. Or oh, this is when the mic They told me that I'm the music editor. Okay. I have to have a mic meeting with the people. So okay. I gave them the records come they're in. they're not showing up to the meeting. I dubbed the cassette for everybody. I gave well, them the no, copies. This is the part I'm not understanding. Okay. Was the mic system already in play? Or this is yeah, the Yeah, it was already happening. No, it was already happening. I'm in charge of it. Okay, okay, okay. But it had already been happening. So they said it has to go through a process to get to what you think it should be. Okay, all right, my bad. Which is involving everybody involved. So okay. when I reached out to everybody and they were receptive, I'm like, I'm just going to do what I want. Right. Fucking. And then I get someone hides at the time, the editor-in-chief, right. and Dave Mays, the publisher. Right. So if they agree, that's what it's going to be. So right. every time, you know, I, I would bring it to them and that's what it was. But right. I didn't do the whole, like, big meeting, you know, like, it was like, I cared about it so much, I was like, yo, you have to trust it. That's my opinion. Mm-hmm. Now with you, remember, right. I remember the funny thing with you was like, so CNN <laughs> comes in, Again, uh, right. the shit is hard, but then right. like certain records didn't make the album, like because right. of uh, samples and shit. Yep. yep. Uh, with Nas, got, the joint. We got four mics. We wanted five so bad. Yeah. Oh, oh, <laughs> we wanted four and a half at least so bad. Like, I but remember. I, I fought for four. Yeah. Right, right. We wanted to right. give y'all three and a half. Yeah, three oh, bucks, no, I would have been bad. Yeah. I would have been bad. <laughs> been bad. No, well, and then Tommy Boy Red, y'all put the four mics in the thing, and yeah. like, no, but you remember, no, you, uh, you pushed the album back. No, what happened was you this. You fucked me, Nori, with no, that shit, because nah, I, I looked you're right, crazy. You're right. But what happened was um, we uh, sampled uh, Closer, so yeah. the Sam C. Snee yeah. record, and then they, they, they wouldn't clear it, and then we put the album out, and the album actually did good, and the, and the, the people that we sampled from Sam C. called back and was like, we we in. Oh, they shut you down? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. We in. And even yeah. um, you gotta remember we had uh, I don't remember if this is in the, in the review, but we have oh uh, Nas uh, music make these yeah. dogs calm down. down. Woo. And we couldn't only not clear Nas, but we couldn't clear the samples. Wow. Because yeah. we, the budget Champagne was gone. Right? Yeah. And so that's the reason why, I, I, God bless, because it sounds so crazy for what I'm about to but say. But you remember that was mad, though, because I, you wasn't you wasn't known enough yet, and we was right. early. Right. This is KRS-One, still KRS-One. Right. right. So I gave him Lee Review. Uh-huh. We gave him three and a half mics. Right. They was mad. Right. And then right after that, CNN, four mics. Right. That's right. what. That's why people was mad. It was just like, yeah. oh, blah, blah. Yeah. So I well, caught a lot of heat for that year, fam. Well, well. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Yeah. Let me ask you this, and be honest, as you can. <laughs> Yo, why you keep asking me to be honest? What am I not honest? You ever, you, like? <laughs> yeah. Did you ever feel that you had regional bias when you were when you're reviewing some of the music that wasn't Ooh. from New York? Ooh. No, I had to change that though. Let me tell you, because humbly I realized that I love New York, but New York ain't shit. So here's what here's uh, where the magic no, happened. Don't say New York shit. Matter no, fact, no I mean, I mean, no. Yeah, New York forever. Please. My bad. My right, bad. Right, New York that's forever. That's not crazy. No, but I meant like I'm gonna get people mad. No, 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 no. I meant that you I can't. Got your back. I love y'all. Yeah. 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 Look, nigga, I'm the ultimate New York nigga. I can't even drive. But I know our fans. So yeah. Take this little clip. You see what? Nah, nah. I'm New York for life. I'm a New Yorker to my core. Right. So wherever I live, I'm a New Yorker. Let it be a problem, which is different. So. But my point is, I remember in business, New York doesn't show up the way to, New York is a as a as a loud voice, but it's a smaller thing, and the world is very big. Right. And you get caught up in that. So sometimes I got it right, sometimes I got it wrong. Dipset with Jim Jones, he was mad at me for a long time. We good now. Shout out to right. Capo. Right. Cause I didn't think Dipset was like a national thing. I thought it was a New York thing. Right. I was wrong. Right. I didn't realize they wearing the jeans and the belts and like so. I, it was international at the time, but I didn't see it at that time, and I got it wrong. I remember doing a cover where it's like, I'm going to do a Jadakiss cover in Nelly. So Jadakiss, he's on the cover of 10 markets, literally from Maine down to Florida. 
all the East Coast markets. Yeah, y'all picked it. And then I'm going to do Nelly across Midwest to the West, and I would sell, and I would see the power if, and I would know. Okay, cool. Like that's what it is. Like. You can't get so caught up in that side of the globe, that eastern run of like. So you say you can read the algorithms. That's what makes okay. it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, but that's a smart way to say he created the algorithm. But what I, what I that want, was good, then, though. Because, right. because you're discovering the power of these artists in terms of what it means numbers wise, like business numbers, whatever. New York, we but created taste, the music, musical taste. You might have said, you might have discovered that and still not thought the music was no, good. No, but it's kind of like what Nori was saying earlier. We, we proud New Yorkers. We, right. we created this whole shit. Right, absolutely. Right. Don't get it fucked absolutely. up. Hit right. about 50. Right. But at the same time, it's not us to possess forever. Well, he saw the trends changing. Yep. Right. That's how he started moving a different way, which was yeah. the lineage even for Drink Chance to be here now. Absolutely. Um, that's the adaption. I'm like, yo, if, if, if this guy, Nelly, like, it doesn't matter if New York doesn't think he's hip-hop enough or he's not the cooler... Like, no. I the Midwest and the West is yep. like, there's a whole other world. Right. Acknowledge that. I used to hang with Nelly when him and Kuda Love just try to get a, a deal at Penalty Records. I used to just hang with Nelly, just be around Nelly. Uh, when it was not cool to be around 50 Cent, I used to be around 50 Cent. When it was not cool to mess with Cash Money, I was with Cash Money. <laughs> Hello. It was not cool to, to, to even know who Lil Wayne was, I was with Lil Wayne because I was traveling to these markets and I was realizing these markets had something. Yeah. And it wasn't that I wasn't proud to be from New York, but I was just still proud to say, let me introduce this to to, 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 to my markets. And now we look at it the same way I looked at reggaeton. When I saw reggaeton, I was like, yo, I was like, yo, this shit is going to pop because there's nothing like, uh, I'm so sorry I'm married and my wife is right there. You know what I'm saying? But there's nothing like a Latina woman just grinding and you're just looking at her. Whoa, you going to like it. <laughs> you gonna like it? That's right. That's, that's right. God damn, I don't have to apologize. My bad. So, um, but when I'm saying, okay, I'll pop another one. You, you, you we don't you got no faith in you. But, um, but, um, but yeah. So it, it was like that. And and the thing is, man, um, uh, our coach is so beautiful, man. When you really, really think about it, man. I love it. Uh, competitive, I love it. man. I love it. So tell us about this Rock Nation brunch. <laughs> <laughs> yo, B that be having his chest out and shit. He be wearing yeah, shirts. Yeah, I be seeing y'all, man. Be seeing y'all, man. B that yo, make sure he pops. I'm gonna say his last one though was dope because we we got working after that, so it's okay. like like uh, Tyler the Creator. Like I right. did the interview yes. ten years ago. Yes, and I've been trying to talk to him for ten years. Who I by did the way, crown. Tyler the Creator, man? Yo, he be ill drink we chance. Gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, I'm gonna grab him. Oh, ready? We got like the greatest relationship. Like it started yeah. out weird, and it's like <laughs> it's still weird. But no, I, he's I'm a great kid. I'm he love loves Tyler the no, He, he loves him. I love him. I love he's him. A, he's a great he's kid. Tyler he loves hip hop. So wherever you're so, Tyler, yeah. what happened was that that brunch. Like I have my history with him. It yeah. was his first time at the brunch. Uh huh. But you know, he's a little socially awkward. He's a weird kid. Yeah, yeah. So, like, I felt like we was, like, protecting him. Like, people, fans are coming up. We're, like, trying to grab me and B-Dot. Uh -huh. And then him and B-Dot, like, talked for, like, 40 minutes. They had a great conversation. Right. Like, right. then all of a sudden, it was time to do a podcast. So, it was dope. dope. You know? Tyler. God damn it. I got to go, Nano? No, 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 no. <laughs> Is somebody here? <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, all right. Cool. That's Shula, Shula, Shula. Come on. Yeah, no, yeah, but no. the... The brunch was great for us because that helped us bond right. with Tyler right. to get that interview. Uh -huh. Babyface too. Wow. Met him and his uh, his wonderful um his girl Rika in his camp that does right. his shit. Right. Kicked it with them. Wow. So I felt like that was a major networking thing that led to like good podcasts Absolutely. after that. Right. So yeah. shout out to the brunch. Yeah, goddamn. Shout out to the Rock Nation brunch. Goddamn. But nobody got more ace than Nori. How did uh, you do that, Nori? No, I ain't gonna lie, because nobody, nobody got more ace than you. Let me Nori. just say something. I love that, but let me just say something <laughs> to the cameras, because nobody drink more ace than Nori. <laughs> and that's a fact. And by the way, let me just tell y'all something. Because I, I was saying that earlier, um, uh, what, what did we do earlier? I forget. The Monster 50 Cent. Monster, let me just tell you something. If it's hip hop, if it's a trail burger, I'm gonna find out where the trail burger is. Yeah, shout and out I'm bar. gonna hunt that down. And I'm gonna eat me a trail burger. Right. If it's a motherfucking Ace of Spade, this is hip hop. I know the owner. I know the person that invented it. Why would I ever, you know, drink any other champagne if I'm a champagne drinker? If it's De Leon, if it's motherfucking, what is that right. shit called? Yeah. Tequila. Yeah. Tequila. If it's tequila, I ain't drinking nothing else but motherfucking De Leon. And that's a fact. And if it's cognac, 
as long as Hove is involved, I ain't doing that. And if it's Hen Nas, see, Hen Nas, see, you know I'm drinking every last sip. Because if hip hop is involved, well, oh, you forgot my marijuana, bro. You gotta tell him how much you like my marijuana. <laughs> yes, even my marijuana is in created by hip hop <laughs> in the tub of Kindle in bath water with people with feet stepping on it. I don't mind. I'm not gonna personally drink it, but I'm gonna watch EFN drink it and I'm gonna support him as he does such. If it's finger licking and it's about chicken, I'm gonna support it. I'm gonna support it. What else we got in hip hop? Come on. Wingstop, Holla. I'm a support it. Bel Air, mm. I'm a support it. Bamboo, Bamboo, I'm a support it. Because J J Day, <laughs> Jim Jones. <laughs> so, listen, nah, I, listen. Anything hip hop, uh, even Patty Labelle pies. Mm. Even Patty, her pancakes, her breakfast. If it's hip hop, I'm supporting it. I'm doing it. This is what we do. And if you're hip hop and you're not doing that, that's that's the problem yeah. with us. Is and especially this is why I'm a, I'm a just related to a uh, 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 Bum B's Trill Burgers. Um, if you have never had a Trill Burger, it's one of the best burgers on the planet, if not the yeah. best Shout burger on the planet. So I'm not only telling you to support hip hop, but I'm telling you to support some real quality. genuine quality, quality shit. When I tell you to drink Ace of Spades, I'm not telling you to support it just because best of hip hop. Champagne. I'm best. telling you this is the best champagne on Talk the motherfucking planet. Talk to him. And this is real talk. A lot of these products, most of these products that I name is the best shit on the motherfucking planet. And you know the owners or you know the co-owners. Why wouldn't you support that? Whiskey, ASAP Rocky. Oh, ASAP Rocky's whiskey. Boosie's cognac. What was a Come Wiz on. Khalifa's joint? Come on, bring Nims in. Randy, I cannot be kicking you out. I'm sorry. I'm okay. <laughs> Come on, bring Nims in. Don't you ever yeah. disrespect me pulling up on my yeah, interview. Don't you, <laughs> don't you ever disrespect me pulling my interview. Don't disrespect me looking like a waiter. <laughs> 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 What's going on, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm moving in now. Yeah, I'm yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to pass the torch. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. yes. So, so Nims, let me um, <laughs> let me first off congratulate you, bro. You. I meant to say that to you earlier. Um, first time I see uh, Paul Rosenberg come back outside. Word. PR. <laughs> yeah, my guy. Come back Straight outside. Up. You brought and, him out. And, and what's great about that is, you know, he's really, really rich. So he super have, rich. He don't have to. He doesn't have to. Super rich. Right. So if you can, if, if you want, let me get some of that. Um. Let me get some of that. Oh, oh, today's a little wild day to yesterday. I like it. I like it. I'm into it. Is there more in there? Get so right. how, does this, right. how does this process happen? Um, who calls you? You oh, express. I don't even know. You I'm excited. Stretch, you I'm learning. Well, he has a history. He, he can tell you, but he yeah, has yeah. a history with that. He told us. You had Stretch Armstrong. And I don't know. Fuck with you. <laughs> nah, so look. Back in the days when I was battling, doing the Fight Club shit. Fucking with Riggs. I was fucking with Riggs. Morales. Riggs, Riggs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Riggs. So Riggs. Dominican. Yeah. 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 Yes. Fast. Yeah. Yeah. So he, nah, took, he used to take me up to Shady every week and was like, yo, Nems, you killing everybody with the battle shit. We love your music. And Shady, we want to start developing you as an artist. Wow. Mm. Went to jail. Oh, and wow. Then I fucking, and then I came home and I was back on my bullshit. Mm. And they just stopped returning my calls. I was like, damn, that was my shot. I fucked right. up. What year is that? This is like early 2000s. Yeah. Wow. Right? When, 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 yeah. 50 just came. 50 nah, 50 just yeah. went diamond. Yeah. I remember Riggs had the diamond fucking crack. <laughs> <that's like. laughs> now, you know, you know, let me just say something. I, I, I want to say I apologize, right? Because let me just tell you something. Vin, Ben is rooting for you and I was just like damn and I was like yo like I need I need 10 years and then Pete Rock posted you the other day yeah. and then I looked and then I had to call him and I was like I did not know <laughs> <laughs> I did yeah. not know 10 years yes I did not yeah. know my bad I, so I apologize to you face to face can I continue, continue. and um uh -huh. yo I just I just put my head down and kept putting in hard work. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right, like, I stopped so. all the bullshit. Right. Like I said before in the monster shit, I stopped drinking, I stopped doing drugs, mm -hmm. and I just focused on making this shit happen. Right. And um, I started doing the album with Scram Jones during the pandemic, and, uh, you know, Scram is, and, and, and yeah. they called with Paul, and Paul, we played him the album, and he was like, yo, all right, I see what you want to do. I fuck with this album, this shit is fire. 
And um, he was like, yo, give me a couple months. I got you. Right. And then wow. he started Goliath. You know, Goliath was management. Right. It was like, oh, yo, we start Cypress Goliath. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goliath. As a regular label. Yeah, we're yeah. going to start the regular yeah. label and... You know, you're going to be the first artist, Goliath Virgin. Oh, wow. That's dope, so, man. The album deal. We, go. we got to make noise. Yeah. Hell yeah. Because yeah. I was so happy when I read the article. I'm sitting there reading. And I'm like, obviously, I'm an older, older, I'm an older, older, older nigga. So, <laughs> you know, sometimes I How do you older that much? Yeah, you ain't that <laughs> old. No, I'm older than you. No, but you got to realize. You got to realize. realize why. Like, I'm out of this world sometimes. Like, I, I really looked at this. Like, one day I was just sitting there talking to people that's randomly just talking, and that name in the country, and I was like, I've been there. And I was like, they named the country, I was like, I've been there. I was like, I've been there. So, like, that shit just makes me older because I actually Life traveled experience. around the shit, world. Experience. Like, I actually yeah, 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 yeah. did all this shit. Like, you know what I mean? So, when, um, I seen the post and I seen people saying, yo, he been doing it for years. And then t today I'm seeing Rosenberg and Rosenberg was, was breaking it down. And I was sitting like, damn, that's what's crazy about hip hop. Like I was saying um, at that session, like when I went to that Kid Cudi thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. like I didn't know that there was a whole nother version of hip hop. I thought you could only be tough. <laughs> I, 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 I thought I thought you could only yeah, be tough or only be like, like, like. What they like, say, alternative, alternative. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Say alternative. So, so. Hipsters is what, I really what it is. Yeah, so, so just so you know, I, I, just to reiterate what I said earlier, I was like stuck in hip hop purgatory. Now, hip hop purgatory <laughs> is real it's because it's either you get another hit or. You you miss and it's done it's for done. you and it's right. done for you. So and, for you. and then your legacy is done too. Yep. And your legacy is done. So you got to be like very careful. So I'm I'm sitting around with the with the money I got and I'm out on LA and Alchemist says to me, Yo, I want want to do you a favor. And I was like, Do me a favor. What did you want to do? He's like, I want you to come out with me tonight, and I want you to um go to this Kid Cudi show. So I was like, I bet. And the minute I walked in this Kid Cudi show. They were like, you the God, you the fucking, and I was like, and they all was, they didn't say I was the God because of me. They right. were saying, you put on Pharrell. Yep. The first time we seen it, I was like, holy shit. And Pharrell had created this whole nother source in between yeah. him and Kanye. And I had, did not know, like, I was good in that neighborhood. Yep. Yeah. And I, I didn't know that. I was just like, holy yeah. shit. So. Um, what, what is the time in hip hop that you discovered that there's five different hip hops? Right when I came out of jail, dude mm. Necro hit me up. Wow, he's mad like underground. Yeah, he's mad underground. Yeah, he's yeah, mad yeah. underground. So before he hit me up, I didn't know him from a hole in the wall. He uh. seen me on like MySpace. I was like, yo, I want to take you on tour with me and sign you to my label. Wow. And I went wow. on tour with him. The rip like that? Yeah, yeah. Like, just off of like the songs he heard from me. From seeing the crap, every show he had was packed. Every show a naked bitch came out. Every wow. show, wow. Yeah. off the off the audience would come wow. out, get butt naked on stage. I'm like, yo, wow. he let me know that you don't have to have a song on the radio, be commercial, right. you mm. become a millionaire they in this game, impact, yeah. really do your yeah. thing. Right. So once I seen that, I was like, I'm gonna keep going, doing what the fuck I do, and it's gonna stick, whether it's major or independent. Yeah. Right. It's just I'm gonna I'm gonna do my own thing, man. I don't give right. a fuck what nobody else say. Fuck your life if you don't like me. Fuck your life. You know what I'm saying? Fuck your life. Fuck your life. Yeah. Fuck you ever and, disrespect me. Let me tell you what I think was important and what I saw when I just started seeing all your stuff. And this is what I think is dope about hip hop is authenticity will always win. Absolutely. 100%. You got to trust it though because too too much in this entertainment business, yeah, facts. you don't want to be authentic chasing well, the bag. not cloud chasing it you want to get on. But hip hop, yeah. if you're ahead, you always know authenticity is going to win. Mm -hmm. and, I, and, and, it, and it shines through like when you, you see truly be authentic. You and I saw that in everything yeah. you was doing, yeah. man. Nah, shout out to EFN, man. EFN, yeah, yeah, I just met him today, and when we when I met him, it felt like we were yeah, homies like for years. Like he crazy you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. 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 And uh, he just been showing wild love since since let we started following him. Yeah, 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 bro. Let me tell you something about EFN. Since we all giving each other flowers, he will not sell out at all. 
I'll sell the fuck out. I'm, I'm, right. sell out. I'm, I'm selling like, out, man. bro. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to roll with that, bro. Yo, let the check be right. He, he I'm the, selling the listen, fuck out, bro. Don't get it He liked the money, but he does not, he does not like the integrity. He does not like it. No, no, morals. I like integrity. <laughs> <laughs> but, Lord, here's how you fucked up, yeah, though. Yeah. He made it rich with having to do it, so he's never gonna do it. No, nope. yeah, yeah. And by the well, way, that, that's, we made that's, each other rich. Yo, hold on. When yeah. I first, when I first was yeah. like, when Jin Chin's first started, y'all was just, always used to shit on this motherfucker. No, I, yeah. No. What is he doing sitting here? I'm gonna be honest. You are like about that. to kick him out. I like oh, no, no. Don't ever disrespect me. No, no. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. You ain't, you ain't hear it earlier, but let me just tell you something. Elliot is a goat when, when it comes yeah. to journalism. Oh, absolutely. And I'm not. I'm saying he is. A goat to his face. You know, a lot of people don't want to, you know, sometimes a lot of people say you're a goat behind your back or whatever. I'm going to say it to your love, face. Love it, you know what I mean? Um, you are a goat. And there was, a lot of us was was was, was trailblazing. Blazing. Yeah, no, he's like Drink Chance Rap Radar, like the whole podcast yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. We yeah. brought the spirit of like that and raised a level of I it. Definitely, I definitely right. believe that. Yeah. I de and, and by the way, I don't want to take away any other no podcast. Disrespect to everybody else. Respect because oh, yeah. I don't I don't mean that at all. But what I what I meant was in this climate, it was like it was like when Ja Rule and um uh, DMX was going at it. You know who benefited? Def Jam. And at the time, yeah. at the time it was like Rap Radar and and, and Drink Chance was going. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 There was no real money yeah, in it, too. Yeah. That was, that was and you know who money, benefited yeah. at the time? CBS. We yeah, were both signed to CBS, yeah. so it was like... But we learned that, and now, what you're seeing now, what you, even when you see, God bless, and I don't mean this like that, but even when you see Gilly and Joe and them go at it, yeah. and you see that shit is just raising the level. Yeah, absolutely. Because every time they do, whatever it is... The fans going to go to that the one and see what you said fans, about him. Yeah, yeah. And by the way, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something that's real. Joe Button exists without Million Dollars Worth of Game. Million Dollars Worth of Game exists without Rap Radar. Rap Radar exists without academics. Doesn't exist, you mean. It, no, no, no. What I'm saying is, is <laughs> we don't actually do the same thing. We don't do the same thing. Like, yeah. I, I, honestly, that's the reason why I wanted to prove that by having Tony Yayo, because I seen Tony Yayo at the Breakfast Club. DJ Khaled, get yeah. the fuck out of here! Yeah! I seen Tony Yayo at the Breakfast Club. Like this, like this, man. Get the fuck out of here. That was a cover shoot that oh in the club. Yes, they told that, me. That, that magazine cover was the MJ50. Yeah, they told that me. was in the club shoot. They, no, and uh, shoot pulled up. They no, were like, oh shit. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was it. There's no cover. It was the same video shoot. Pulled up. Shout out Noah. Yo, I, so, I know, I know. So what I'm saying no, is, no, no. Oh, let me just finish it. I, I, yeah, yeah. So what I'm saying is, in all actuality, we're not in competition. Like at the end of the day, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not saying this because Ellie is here. If an artist is coming there to have them review their music, there's no better person to go to, to Elliot when it's about their music. Yeah, yeah. But if I'm gonna ask you about some some crazy shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and nah, you I, get I the know, stories out of them, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I know how it is to be an artist. The story behind the story. Right. The story behind the story. Yeah, exactly. Then I'll, I'll you gonna take bring shit out. out of them that, yes, that yes, he yes, can't because he don't. That's the hard yes, part. Yes, He's gonna yes, take yes, shit yes, out of them that you can't. But a hardcore interview, I'm gonna go to Elliot. Like for me, like when it comes time to tell my story. I'm gonna go to go to Elliot because I understand that there's a difference we would do. And EFN told me that a long time ago. He was like, "Stop fucking saying you're a journalist." Yeah. And I was like, "Damn, he, wow." Yeah. Yeah. So he, was, that. So we, he was saying, "We're Stop. not journalists, bro. Yeah, yeah. You guys as journalists. Right. Yeah. You guys are documenting. Very, we're not fact checking." Everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you lie to us, you're not disrespecting us. Don't you disrespect me? That's not that shit. We're just trying to, just trying to celebrate the guest yes. the culture. Yes. We're trying to have a yeah. party, have fun. We're trying to recreate what we was doing in the studio, yeah. what we was doing backstage. We was drinking we and talking shop. Yeah. Right. That's all we was trying to do. These are the real conversations fans right. can have. You're going to get jams yeah. in that yeah. shit, and then you're going to get some funny the bullshit. 50, you're going to talk to Nori. It's different. The whole thing's different. Right, right. So, and that's really what it is, but... Man, now how does it feel grinding all these years? Ooh. Now finally getting this Talk deal. Talking nicely. Finally getting this deal. Now fucking validation. Mm. Yeah. Fucking validation. Let's make some validation. Yeah. Cause is you moving out of Coney Island? 
Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah. Yo, you know what's funny? I was with Bastion, Sebastian Telfair, the NBA player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coney Alley, from yeah. the building right behind me. Yeah. He, was, he was like, yo, if I could do it all over, I build a big ass crib right in the hood. I was like, I'm, in my mind, I'm, I'm, out loud, I was like, me and me, you were. And in yeah. my mind, I was like, not me. Get <laughs> the fuck out of here, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yo, it's, it's, bro. I was tired of my whole family when I'm over for Chris. Yo, <laughs> you you still rapping? Uh, Yo, you when you gonna be on the radio? Right. <laughs> Why you curse too much? You ain't never gonna be on the radio. And now I got little kids in fucking Oklahoma yelling out "fuck your life." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, right, right. That shit is right. just validation. But to you, right. I wouldn't be the artist I was. I got everything. Yeah. I got, I got. The War Report. Right. Go. N-O-R-E, Melvin Whoa. Flint, The Reunion. Whoa. I got all that shit. Oh, yeah. Melvin Hell Flint. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yo, awesome. I know you explained the Cocker Spaniel line, all that. You ready? Explain yeah. this. Yeah. You stick a broom in your butt. That's how you go ahead, boo. Oh, yeah. Shit. Boom. Alina. That's my favorite Nori line. Hey, yo. Yeah. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Nori says, yo, Nori is the one of the only rappers that can say some shit like that. Right. And niggas still fuck with it. Yo, that right. shit is hard. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. That, no, no, I'm going to be honest with you. That, you know? One of my favorite artists was Biz Markey. And when yeah. Biz Markey said, I, I stick a, a, a booger in my... Oh, I, a booger, booger in, yeah. He put it on a basketball and he passed it to you. Yeah. I was like... It was outrageous. You loved it. It was outrageous. So I knew I wasn't smart enough to say, when I was 12, I went to hell for snuffing Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew I wasn't Woo! smart enough for that. So I was like, you know what? Let me dumb my shit down. <laughs> and let me speak to the special education people that went to school with me. I love Super So, Mario, like, cause, like, I mean, I loved it. You know, you don't understand how many special education teachers called me after I won the award, we won the award. <laughs> and it was like, when I said, yo, Sal's a special education, I was in the resource room. Resource room teachers, special education teachers was like, yo, can I use this? Because I guess they don't have permission they think they'll get yeah, sued. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I was like, yeah. So I just be, I always wanted to do that. Um, I don't know, uh, you can uh, make uh, it out of I special ed and do your since thing. Since from TV, Bam from TV. Hello. Um, I purposely wanted to go last. I mean, it was on your album. And that was nah. the era to go last too, though. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. now the era, now it's first. No, no, you know what? You're right. It, it, was, it was leaving that era, though. Right. So I was trying to hold on to that era. That was the yeah, turning point. See, I was trying right. to hold on yeah. to that yeah, era. Right. And I was like scared. Like, I'm going to. And when I said, because I said, um, Hennessy Straight shot a tomato juice. But it, it couldn't fit. It, it couldn't pause. It couldn't fit. <laughs> so Hennessy Straight. Yeah. When he said that, he looked at me dead serious. No, because it really. Hennessy Straight shot out tomato juice. And then Hennessy Straight shot out tomato juice. So Hennessy Straight with tomato juice fit, fit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I knew people was always would never understand me. But but same thing with Pharrell when I did what, 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 what. That was a hook. That yeah. was that was never. And Pharrell said, you know, and when I said, I light a candle, run laps around the Anus channel, that yeah. as I got a cock of spray you. Well, at that time in in, in Queens, yeah. it was a gun. Yeah, yeah, so, Woo! yeah, so like a cock of spray was a 22, you know what I mean? Uh, a rock wall that was a 4-5. It was some dumb shit. Woo! But I always wanted the shock value. I w always wanted to do uh, when people go, ooh. Ooh, and I didn't care which way it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the more simplistic I made it, what I understood is all of the war report never got played in the club, and that hurt me. That hurt me the whole. But they war got report. played in hoods all. They over got played the in the hoods, world. but you gotta remember, when I got on stage, that wasn't who I was. T O N Y and Bay N Y. If I didn't actually jump to T O N Y. You wouldn't jump to T.O.M.I. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just yeah. think about it. It's mad low. They like, just trying to shit on me and make history, history supposedly. supposedly. But now, if I yeah. perform it this way, they just trying to shit yeah, on yeah, me yeah, yeah. and make history. <laughs> but in all actuality, just think about the rhythm of it. They just trying to shit yeah, on it's me slow. and make it's history. Yeah. And I realized, I was like, damn, this is great. But it's not who I am. Mm. I wanted to... <laughs> and God bless, God bless, because I don't know if I'm answering your question, but, but then Pharrell came in, and I'm just being honest with you, like, um, me and him spoke the other day, but it was just like, 
Like, we were really like Batman and Robin, Beauty and the Beast, really. <laughs> because. Who's the beauty? Who's the beast? Who's beauty? I'm definitely the beast. <laughs> I'm definitely the beast yeah. because he he actually knew, and I remember his words to me. I swear to God, I remember he's like, "Yo, no one listens to me, but the person that does is going to go number one, and they're going to listen to me right to the bank." Yeah, that's a real point. He, they they want to connect to his vision yet about shit, right? No, they, no one would. He has so many ill. People, he was a but, ghost producer. Yeah, from yeah, ghost they, they, they didn't want it now. He's a genius yeah, now, but like yeah. back then, nobody knew him. They were front of him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Because he looked different. Yeah. He Who got the best verse? He's both different. different. He looked different. I yeah. definitely got the best verse. And Nord was, <laughs> Nord was the first. Yeah. Nord was the first to kind of break him in that. And that's why he just loves Nord forever. Yeah, why, I, lo I love Why I love he got Pharrell. the kick-ass interview with Pharrell? And, you, and you're crazy. Let me just, <laughs> and let me just tell you sorry. something. Let me tell you something. Yeah. A couple of times I just cried recently. Uh, my man Twin, um, his father just passed away. I went to the funeral. I cried there. But when I seen the Louis Vuitton thing. And by the way, I just left Paris. And I hit Ooh. Pharrell, and Pharrell was like, yo, stay. And I did not know why he was yeah, telling yeah, me to yeah. stay. I just went to the Mafia Coast. I felt rich. I was like, let me just, <laughs> let me just get the fuck out of here. But I, had he said, yo, I'm, this is my Louis Vuitton, because he, you know, Pharrell's just so humble, no matter how much he get. He was like, yo, stay. I want, I want to show you something. And had I had I knew what yeah, he yeah, was yeah. talking about. Wow. Because yeah. when I seen that, it wasn't that Hove came out. It wasn't that Tyler came no, out. It, was it wasn't. Man's actually, it, it was like this, this is a guy that I actually that? see, That's... and his okay. was fucking crazy about this. My wife is out here. You can ask her. You can ask her your own. The the huh? Oh, you like you like my shorts? What the fuck? Niggas is like, my, don't you ever disrespect me and like my shorts mid interview. <laughs> Yo, but you know what the crazy shit was? Me and my wife was doing our uh, our our 10th anniversary over. That's way that's way Lee. Um, 10th anniversary over. You know who was styling me? Who? Virgil. Mm. That's crazy. Wow. For Louis Vuitton. For Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. So uh, we went there. That's some rich shit. And no, I just seen hella rich shit. Yeah, it, so is, rich it shit. is, it is, it is. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Virgil, did you shoot? My man, my man Felix did that shit. <laughs> yeah. So, Shout out Felix. So it was airbrush. What's crazy is, like Virgil sent us to some like you know, remote spot for me to get fitted. I felt I was so glad my wife was there because I felt crazy how they yeah, was touching yeah, me. Yeah. I was like, wait a minute, this ain't right. <laughs> they went into places. I was like, wait a minute. I was like, all right, cool. Right, this is how this happens. I was like, all right. That's how you get a little yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No. You were talking about You were talking about it. You were talking about it. You were talking about it. You were talking You were talking about it. You were You were talking about it. You <laughs> don't ever disrespect yeah. me in the public yeah. <laughs> oh, That's no, some funny dude, shit. The dude's looking a little yeah, behind you, right? Yeah. <laughs> you got a crap stamp for that. Uh -huh. But, hey, but, but hey, the now. last time, uh, Virgil was supposed to, and then, oh, for man. I say that to say it, it's weird. Because for, for this to happen to Virgil, right. and then, and then uh, Pharrell to actually, you know, Take over. That's next level. Yeah, LV. Shout for real. Yeah, that shit is next so level. And let me tell you something. This game worth P. He's so focused. Like he immediately became the designer. Like you know how? Yeah, yeah, like 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 you like, know how? Like the president, they stopped. Yeah. He got a couple months. Yeah, like he just the, went right in. No, he knew. He yeah, knew. He owns in on shit. You can tell. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like he's been. I, 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 I don't like know focus. this. By the way, I'm I'm spitballing this. I'm just nah, saying when I spoke right? to him, he was like, "You know, you don't understand." But but what I'm saying is, in my opinion, this is a position that he's been waiting for his whole life, and he's going to kill his shit. Like mm -hmm. I, yeah, like, him, like let me tell you something. I looked at all the designs. I looked at every last one of them, and I was like, "This shit is ill." And I looked at um, Virgil's. I was at Virgil's last fashion show as well. It was fucking awesome. So I fucking love what Pharrell's doing, man. Um, uh, Pharrell, wherever you at, man. 
Uh, Come back to drink champs. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, nah, it's fucking yes, that. Yes, yes. Come yeah. back to drink champs. <laughs> I don't, I, we had an listen. amazing drink champs. Yes, bro. yes, yes. It, it, it was, yeah, I'll, yeah. Tell you, I'll tell you that part later. But, uh, <laughs> for real, um, you know, Don't I'm jump so, this way with another Pharrell yeah, interview. Yes, listen, I'm so, so proud of you, Pharrell. I'm so proud of your, your, your wife, your children, and what you're doing. And, um... The fact that I had a, a piece to do with the beginning of that, I'm so honored. I'm so, you know, uh, pleased. I, and, and I'm going to continue to support it. And then you came out. And no, and no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. He came out that the first fashion show with the Capone and Noriega Army Fatigue. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, Facts. I know he probably does. I don't know. But I, that's how I took it. I took it like, Facts. oh, he came out with the war war, 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 and, and, and uh, the whole family. So, um, now, nah, but Anno, we, uh, we yeah, did. We yeah. had him on the podcast. Finally, what was that like? Like, the, that was amazing. Man. Like? And you know, you know what's you crazy? Like, how'd you feel right before? And like, talk, talk to me about the whole I, shit. I, 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 that's a great question. Uh, you know what's crazy? I'm good. Is, 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 I'm the uh, best ever. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's, look, that's how you know you big when. You make people take a COVID test before they meet you. Okay, yeah, check it. Check, check. I had to do that when I hung out with Logic. <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, yo, take this test first before you come into the room. Oh, oh, no, it's no, no, it's check, over, it, check, bro. It, check it, check it. I'm a disrespect. <laughs> 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 No, but um, yo, this is a foul COVID test. This is no, a brick. No, listen. Damn, this is, this is, this is, listen, this is nah, how they got your blood. This is not even Yo, he was a no, but that, but, 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 that buddy, you know, I was like, yo, I finally got him, but we got this fucking pandemic okay, bullshit. No, check it, check it. This nigga got a mask on. No, let me explain. He took his shit on. So let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. So we're um, <laughs> smack in the middle of COVID, but Miami opens back up. Yep. Yeah, we was Miami opened back up. Miami opened back up. So, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> it's but, fucking life. Atlanta, yo, yeah, fuck your life. No, no, life. Atlanta never closed. <laughs> uh, at least Florida closed. Fuck your respiratory system. So, <laughs> fuck your liver. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, <laughs> Miami opens up. We do. We I, I think we do college before that. No, we had Waka Flocka first. Waka Flocka. So we all caught, we caught COVID of our Waka first. Flocka. Damn. Our yeah. first episode off of COVID, we hey. we caught half Waka the Flocka. percent caught COVID. Yeah. 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 I'm not saying that Waka. No, I'm not saying to him. I'm not saying that Waka. 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 It was a bust up the beers. Yes, yes. yes. Everyone who drank a beer we drank caught the COVID. I was so glad it was champagne. I was so glad it was a champagne nigga at that time. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, anyway, um, <laughs> and then, so then for, for, this is why I respect for Rob, because me and him was just talking, yep. and he didn't want to, like, like, go through me to do the interview, so he was going through his peoples, <laughs> so I was like, are y'all sure, is, is he really coming, like, I just spoke to him yesterday, brought up nothing about Drink Chance, yeah, yeah. it was like three times I spoke to him, we didn't bring about Drink Chance, and then, we got a group chat, and I'm looking at it like, I, I'm not sure. <laughs> like, like, I'm not sure it's speaking to the right for real. But then it's Mr. Lee. This, he's on all the that clips albums. Hey. He's on all the clips albums talking about selling cocaine and shit. Oh, so, wow. I mean, that was back in the days. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, That's your limitations. So up. anyway, <laughs> so at the very last thing they said, yo, listen, he's going to do it, but he wants all of y'all to have a COVID test. So we're like, fuck it. We know these guys just got over they shit. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, All the EFA crews had it. <laughs> <laughs> My crew did not. My crew did not. We survived. Yes. So we going back there. I'm talking about this blood. They got to pick our shit. Yeah. Then Pharrell walks in and just like, I'm ready to record. He didn't even do it. He didn't even do it. What have you come with COVID? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, by the way, I never caught COVID. I caught that shit three times, and the second time I gave it to my mom's <laughs> and my girl for Christmas. <laughs> All that. This is right when Big Mom first happened, bro. I was like, yo, I caught it. I had mad bookings that week. You went out. Bro, I ain't staying. The first time I stayed in, the second time I was like, yo, I'm not staying in. Everybody getting this, bro. Fuck that. <laughs> Shout out to my mom. She had to go to the hospital on New Year. But she all right, because she tough, right? You know what I'm saying? You all right, you tough, right? Oh, you tough, right, mommy? You tough? You caught COVID? 
Uh, twice, yeah. Twice, damn. Yo, he got mad serious. Yeah. Yeah. That shit is bullshit, bro. Like, no, but he said he didn't catch COVID. He didn't test for that shit. <laughs> Yo, I got the flu. By the way, let me just tell you He's something. Like, I, got a little cough. I test more than all three of y'all here. Oh, they love Let me just tell you yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I was filming Love and Hip Hop <laughs> and Marriage Boot Camp. Nah. Oh, they had you locked wow. in the fucking hotel, bro. I had to, I had to, oh, you were safe, nigga. He was pooping in the bag. He wasn't outside. He was locked in the hotel. By the way, I see that thing. By the way, listen, listen. The first day I go to Maris Boot Camp, they give me a bag. I like it. <laughs> I like it. They tell me stay in. But they also tell me Drake got a party. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at my wife, I said, like, I'm not sure. <laughs> we going out. I said, we going to Drake's party. <laughs> and we went, we went, and <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to be modest You know It's yeah, just me yeah. and my wife I didn't go with no Because I'm there for marriage yeah, boot camp yeah, yeah, So I don't have nobody I got a driver outside What is going to be The driver or security It's like fuck it I'd rather the driver yeah. Because <laughs> I can just if I'm just jumping in the car So I'm like alright cool So I got to depend And then you know Drake has the best security yeah, in the yeah, world. Like, just in case you don't know, like, Hello. for real, like, nobody's doing nothing to Drake. I'm just telling y'all. <laughs> just leave him alone. Good luck so, with so, that. So, <laughs> leave him alone. Don't, yeah, you just, just, <laughs> don't you ever disrespect Drake and try to approach him? Listen, so anyway, I, <laughs> so I'm sitting there and the chub see me, he goes, yo, what are you doing? Because I'm just sitting there being the oh, modest. Oh, just sitting there you? Yeah, because yeah, right, right, I'm just sitting up. there with me and my wife. I'm sitting there being the most modest person. And he's like, what the fuck, Legend? What are you doing? And I'm like, what's up, Chubbs? He's like, come on. You not see the boy? And I went over there. And, and I, I see Drake. And we just take shots immediately. And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> He's kind of doing drink champs right now. Yeah. Like, he's, just like, Yo, he, he's making noise, doing all this. And then we take a picture, and it was so dope. But what I'm saying is, uh, I don't even know why I brought that up. But fuck it. Oh, COVID, 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 COVID. COVID, COVID. COVID. Yeah. Okay. All right, all right. So, okay. so, I'm not trying to post the picture. My wife posts the picture. They don't follow oh. my wife at the time. And then Drake reposts it. So, and so, I was supposed to get fired that day. I broke curfew. You had to get the bag back? <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't have gotten the bag back. They, they, they had to sue me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. But, yeah. Fuck your life. But luckily, I can't, we came home. We took, took the COVID test. We took the COVID test that morning. Negative. Negative. All that to say. Uh, yeah, <laughs> negative. So I say I took a COVID test Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for two and a half years. Damn. For two and a half years, bro. Oh, like, the be so after I left Maris boot camp, I came home and I did, um, what happened? I'm going to take a piss. Okay, good. I did Maris boot camp, I came home, and I did Love and Hip Hop for another year and a half. Hmm? Yeah, and a half you did Love and Hip Hop. Yeah. I did it for like, a season and, and a half. Yeah, they ain't invite me back. Right. <laughs> I ain't got no drama. Yo, like, that's... Yeah. I always look at them shows. I'm like, yo, if I was on them shows, there wouldn't be no drama. Like, I don't want to show that side. Even if yeah. there is drama, you won't see it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Straight up. I mean, to say the truth... Uh, yeah, how do you approach that shit? You know? How do I what? The whole reality, how do you approach that shit? How do I approach it? I never approached it. I was like, I'm with it. Like, what it was, was I'm a fan of Marriage Boot Camp. If you've never seen it, um, and if you're married, yeah. uh, the judge. And look, and, Styles was on it. Styles is the yeah, hardest rapper. Yeah, Star, Styles so is the reason why. So if you're like, yo, I don't want to be soft, yeah, yeah. Styles did it. Yeah, Styles did you know it. You know what I'm saying? And that's the reason why. Shout out to the yeah. ghost. Yeah, and, and by the way, I'm going to be honest with you. You know, me and Warwick have been together for so long. Mm hmm like I actually, I actually listened to the therapy that that Thanks. that I got. Like I actually was sitting there, okay. like you know, not because um, like if if if, if there's a chance that I can, uh, my wife can't hear. Yeah, she can't hear. <laughs> just in case, uh, if it's a chance, you know, I don't want y'all to like. But if it's a chance that I can love my wife more, I'll take that chance to to learn how to love my wife more because she yes, saved sir. me. You know yes, what I'm saying? Sir. Like she saved me. Like when. When I was talking about being in hip hop purgatory, that's who was holding me down. And just and just by the way, hip hop purgatory don't mean you broke. It just means you just don't know the next move to yeah, make. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm right. saying? I'm saying because and everybody judge you that way. Everyone like, judge yeah, you, yeah, yes. Yeah. Everyone say, because you gotta realize you people would say good. Yeah. People would say, oh, he can't do it no more. Yeah. Or oh, it's over for him. And you can have all the money in the world. But that doubt, 
fucks you up. I'm not, and I gave you I, all the opposite. They think you lit, but you have your own struggles now. Yes, yes, trying that's to true. Adjust. That's true. Say so about looking at you like you rich, 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 uh, throwing money out the window. You're like, yo, dog, I'm trying to like, restructure my whole shit. That's right, why you know? dudes like Fat Joe, dudes like Buster, you gotta yeah. take notes like younger artists from artists like this, Nori. You know what I'm saying? You gotta take notes. But you know notes. what's wild? Like, I, like judging your energy, I saw Nori earlier. Like, right. you seem like you like you know you, you have a heavy spirit of like you're live wire. I call right. live wire. Yeah, yeah. Right. We Nori, go wherever we why. go. Nori, Nori saying, Gilly, Wallow, right. Joe Budden, yeah. they were always that too. Like the ones right. that survive are like that. Yo, exactly. listen, yes. when you don't... And authentic. Like, and yes. authentic. You know yeah, authentic. I, I they the story, ones that excel. I tell my story that I use drugs, I did all of this. You know why? Because when you put it out there, nobody can use it against you. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I'm going to be me whether you like me or not. If right. you don't like me, so be it. Right. You, yeah. F- but... You can't hold nothing so that against that character me. is what it was. That I, you can put me in any hood, in right. anywhere. Right. I'm saying. I'm saying. I'm going to be good because right. I'm genuine. Right. I'm not right. faking to be somebody I'm not. 100%. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I'm not right. the toughest. I'm not, but I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a regular human real. being. You know what I'm real. saying? Now I can adapt. Yeah. You know, and being from New York, especially Coney Island, there's right. everybody out there. Chinese, black, Puerto Rican. <laughs> we all like one. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. nobody be saying hip hop is like What's one it? race. Can I ask one question? Yeah. How'd you start the whole, don't ever disrespect me shit? Oh, I just, uh, my album. I don't know. My last album in 2021, before Bing Bong and none of that was taken off, was coming out. And I was putting it out myself. Mm. And I was like, all right, I ain't got nobody to help me. Mm. market this or promote this yep. how am I going to get the word out so a week before I just started everybody on my block this mad crazy people that walk by my block it's like the top of Coney Island you pull right. up the train you gotta, <laughs> wherever you going you oh, gotta wow. pass is my that? block okay. and Coney Island is one way in one way out so if right. you leave in Coney right. you gotta pass my block too right. yeah. that's, that's, so that's, I just that's started putting close. up my phone <laughs> and being like yo don't ever disrespect me looking like the Mario Brothers my album coming out in seven days and then I did it with six days then I did it with right. five days yeah. and three and two and then by the time it was time for my album to come out people was like Yo, we kind of don't want your album to come out, man, because we want you to keep doing these videos. Uh, uh, I was like, yo, you know, it came out of necessity. You know what I'm saying? It came out of the hustle. No negative reactions from anybody you ever did that to? Only one, a little, a little, um... (laughs) Alternative, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A little alternative guy, and I ain't even go hard on him. Like, Y'all don't disrespect me looking like a mini mobster. <laughs> he had his hand back. He came up to me with his hand on my phone. Yeah, yeah. I was like, Yo, homie, I'll smack the shit out of you. You know what I'm saying? That joking shit on end real quick. He just turned. He did me like one of those um living color like. Hated it like one of those. Ah, get out of here! Yeah. And he just kept it moving. <laughs> that was the only time ever, ever somebody came at me. Oh shit! Yeah, man. Because most of the time I'm not doing it to be a dick. I'm laughing while I'm doing it. Right. And plus I'm yeah. six four, three hundred right. pounds. Uh. Like. If you really want to go that route, uh, we can go that route. But I, I love the ones when they catch it, they laugh at it too. Like, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. everybody does. Like, that's, that's, that's what shit. Like, yeah. I love what you said. Oh, yeah. oh, pardon me for cutting you off, but I love what you said earlier. You said that if I joke on you, it's kind of a sign of love. Facts. Like, I'm love. not going to joke yeah. on a person that I don't know. Exactly. I'm not going to joke on a person where I think that it could go there. Exactly. There, there. And I think you, know, like, so, you ain't going to be with somebody you don't respect. Well, I'm right. not going to joke right. on you. Yeah. If I don't like you, I'm going to just leave you over there, man. You don't deserve my joke. Yeah, exactly. You know so like that shit is like a term just like fuck your life when I started it was like really like fuck everybody's life but now it's just like a term That's of endearment yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck your life right. people laugh at the shit you know what I'm saying it's 100%. just like 100%. you know you just change it the dynamics of it you know what I'm saying right absolutely so um what what, what so this is your first major label yeah 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 Woo! Yeah, yeah. Yo, now no, me, he's good. no, he's good. Man. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. Me, me, and this guy, we, we we battle all the time, and we say major or independent. Right. He's always independent. I'm always major. But then we all both but have a caveats, we both right. have a twist to it. Yeah, yeah. Which means, I say, independent with a major distribution, and then he says. Pretty much the same. No, but I'm saying, if you can function as an independent, you take advantage of, yeah. of the, the major base. system. Yes. That's what I'm trying to do. Right. So, yeah. So, yeah. That, that, so, so, basically, it's like this. Because now I just, I'm starting to see how the majors move. Mm-hmm. 
independent, you can move how the fuck you want. If I want right. to put something out tomorrow, right. I'm no put it out tomorrow. Right. No autonomy. It will. The major labels, man, they hold you up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Right. And now with all the features on now, y'all have them sign this. I'm like, yo, homie, I'm not even the coolest with these people. They gave me out of love. Right. I'm not going back to them back to sign this contract. Like you because, gonna yeah, them. you go, do motherfucker. Right. Hey, give it to Scram. Let's Scram go. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, you know, it's, it's just like, I always said from the beginning of my career, I'll sign a, a one album deal and get jerked because I know I'm going to make that shit work a million times after that shit is over. Right. You know what yes. I'm saying? I'm going to make my money. One thing about me, I'm going to make it no matter what. I know right. it in my heart of hearts. I know that no matter what I do, I believe I'm going to be successful because yeah, that's so just what my track is. Yeah, right. whatever I got to do. Let me stop you right there, though. Let me just tell you something because I'm a part of that same generation of saying, yo, even... I'll take that deal, even if you jerk me. Yeah. And let me just tell you something. What it is is, I just stop it in my generation, so it's trickling down to your generation, it's trickling down to the next generation, trickling down to the next generation. We gotta stop saying that. No, I said it. I he, didn't said, get, he said one I album deal. Yeah. Get yeah. I didn't get jerked no. at all. Shout out to Rosa no. Park, shout out to right. I didn't he get jerked. Did, but I'm just saying, if yeah. I did, I'm gonna right. make it work because I know myself. Yeah. But I yeah. did not get yeah. jerked. You know, Rosenberg came to me and I already had traction. Where I was right, like, right. I already, before any of this, before any music, I still ain't getting no music money yet. The check right. still ain't coming. Wow. Because, you know, we it's just signed a deal. It's yeah, it's Paul, coming. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Show money, all of that comes. But right. I'm saying the actual label money hasn't come yet. Right. But I already bought my mother a house. Right. I already got yeah. five, six chains. I already right. got three rollies. Right. I already right. got whatever car I want. Right. Without right. a label, yes, you know sir. what I'm saying? Yes, so when yes, they come sir. to me, it's like, you got to do it on my terms or fuck your life. I'm not going to do it. You know what I'm saying? They like that. Right. Why would you say fuck your life and it's different than everybody else saying fuck your life? This is Because I mean it, motherfucker. <laughs> From his stomach. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, quick time slot, hell Freestyle? yeah. Freestyle? Okay, uh, uh, but, but you're, not, you, you're not drinking, though, right? Uh, this is how I do. Right. I haven't drank in 13 years. If I if I don't choose, I'll drink. Okay. That's how right. I know I'm not going to uh, choose. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Oh, Can I get a little more ace? Yes, uh, uh, but we're going to give you some douce for this. Oh wow, you try to yeah. well, plus I'm I'm new was, with all the all the, new the bigger oh, artists, so I'm not on that political shit. Right, yeah. right. Fuck your life. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh Elliot, we're gonna start with you. <laughs> Yeah, pour him some Ducé, though. And we're going to open up those well, ace. I can't get no more ace. We're going to get some ace, but yeah, this, is, this is a shot. shot. This is for yeah, shot. Yeah, that came to play, bro. He, yeah. he, he going in. I'm always, you know what's funny? Yeah, when I did this cast before, I was like, yo. Okay. You had me so turned up, I was like, yo. This nigga Nori didn't take a piece of me at the end. Like, fuck this nigga. He didn't sit yeah. with me. But he did. I didn't even realize yeah, it. Forgot. That's how That's how fried I was. Yeah. So, shout out to you. All right, so let me ask you, Elliot. The Sauce Magazine or XXL? Ooh. The Sauce. Ooh. Ooh. That went, what was it? What? The Source or XXL? XXL. XXL? XXL? Yes. They know. They already know. Oh, 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 all right. Yeah, the, the rules is we give you they both. Know, they know. They know the rules, man. All right. Wait, all right. Now, that wasn't all what right. we got. Yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe Elliot doesn't know. If you pick both, you take a shot. You okay. You asking me if my shit is not better than shit, them man. them niggas? Like yeah. you asking me that? No, 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 no. no, no. That, was a, that was a crazy question. That was a crazy. That was easy in a sense. Yeah. That was easy. I'm saying. Okay, okay. I'm always better. All right, all right, all right. I'm better. All right. XXL, the source. Yeah, the XXL, nigga. Of the time. Okay. Don't talk to me. Okay. <laughs> I got. Don't you ever disrespect yeah. me with these? All right. No. <laughs> Alchemist or Scram. Oh. Scram. Oh. Okay. I'm doing the album with him. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'll go ALC. I'll go Al. Okay. Nah, no, if, you, if you go by the catalog, ALC in my book, but right. I'm choosing mm. Scram because that's my guy. And both great people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 100%. Solid. By the way, I love Scram. And I love Alchemist, too. I got one for him, for Elliot. You got one? Go ahead, bro. One million worth of game or Joe Button? But in English. Joe oh. Yo Button. Mouse. Okay. Mouse. Ah. Okay. I got one. Yeah. Good. Shout Gilly Wild though, but no disrespect, but. War Report or Infamous? Ooh. Which one, what? War Report or the Infamous? Yeah, that's, hard. that's hard. The Infamous. That's hard. And War Report's my shit. Yeah. But the Infamous. That's a shot. That's a shot. Yeah, I, 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 I didn't pick both. Yeah, Elliot. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm, I'm Infamous, but War Report's still classic. So. Um, they held New um, York down. I ain't gonna lie. The, 
without the infamous, there would be no war report. There we so go. So both of y'all made the right decision. Would that be the right thing? Like, play that shit, like, back, that's no, I said this back to back. back. And by the way, back. if y'all don't know, if y'all don't understand, like, Alchemist did five beats on the back. war report. He did my favorite Ooh. beat. His favorite yeah. beat. Oh, you know, I didn't even realize. Yo. Yeah. Oh, on I the war report? Like, on the war yeah. report? Oh, yeah. Parole violated. Al did? No. no. The Alchemist is happy. Oh, oh. He said Alchemist. Oh. I thought all of y'all caught on. I was like, yeah, wait, no, because no, no, no. that's the reason why I said that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nori. So, and we know, like, the whole CNN, my era, like, CNN, yeah, please. Mob Deep comparisons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With all that going on, so Havoc just showed a lot of love to support y'all with the beats. Like, explain that's that to me. That's all tragedy. All tragedy. God bless oh, you. Yeah, shout you out to Daffy. Tragedy, okay. yeah. you know, um, help, help put you Havoc you know. on. Yes, and sir. or whatever and but think you know, about that like you're competing with like the Queens niggas as a group yeah in real time right. with Havoc one of the illest niggas shook one of his old shit Queens right his here. breast of CNN with it's their no, beats in my know? opinion uh-huh. there's no three albums in a row from Talk any to. artist Talk that to. can touch Infamous Hell on Earth and Murder Music name Woo! name you can't the you purple can't. tape Three in a row. Three in a row. Oh, three but in a row. Three you in a surprised? Diddy only got two. Right, right. No, you're right. The only I, one that comes I, I, close I, is Illmatic. It was written in I Am. But to me, that's still not fucking with them. Right. And and that's still Queensbridge, bro. The best right, music right. of my generation. But nah, what are you But nobody's what? touching those three. Nah, nobody else 100%. got three albums in a row that's touching those three. You know what you're trying to think? Because you can't come up with Nah, that. I'm not. Nah, 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 nah. I'm going to get nah, you back nah, on the next nah, episode. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> He's still thinking about Alchemist. Yeah, yeah, I know. Know. Yeah. Nah, I've been Havoc, man. My bad. <laughs> you going to take a shot with me, or, or do say? No, he is. Like, come on, come on. Come on, Pop. No, what are you talking about, nigga? Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> So uh, this is me questioning me. All right, my bad, my bad, my bad. Right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Watch out, yeah, the yeah. more he drinks, the more he might yo. talk to <laughs> yo, yo. Don't ever disrespect me looking like Kramer's biracial son, you heard? <laughs> yo, I, I'll stay all night. I'll stay on that music in front of me. I'm still, I'm here. The real yo, level. Man. Yeah, take, I love it. Take a shot of Duce. Coño, come on. Booty ass ass shot. Get a shot of this. What is it? I don't know what I'm drinking here. Let's take a shot. You guys Yeah, I'm drinking. I've been drinking. You've been drinking this whole time. Let's do it. I'm a sober alcoholic. <laughs> I gotta go to work, man. These damn I'm thinking. Stop your lying, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I love it. I love everybody, man. All right, so let me just finish the story. Yo, we never get, get the story over. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> Danny, hold on, hold on. Let's read from Danny. Danny, 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 Yo, but, but guys, let me see. Is this the open? <laughs> Thank y'all for coming yeah, to the Yeah, Yeah! Do say Artist Lounge. Do say Artist Lounge. I'm about to go. I got to do some. Okay. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I I got Elliot Butler. Never Butler. disrespect with this stiff-ass okay. colleague. <laughs> Hey, but we got to tell them that like, both of y'all, we need y'all on the legit the drink chance. It's an honor and a privilege just to be in y'all, yes. y'all company. Absolutely. Like, come, back, come back to drink chance. Once again, man. Miami. 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 Love y'all. Yeah. So and, and, no, man, and Elliot, yeah, look, once again, we're gonna say you, we're gonna we're gonna start it with saying I you love know. you, Eno. Yes, I love you too. But let me just say I so, love you, Eno. We're gonna start it. With saying, <laughs> listen, hey, we, yo, listen, hey, listen, yo, he loves you, on. but he's holding his leg. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Yeah. I love you. Yeah, listen, <laughs> we're gonna start it by saying you the goat, and guess what? By God, Bosh, Golly, Bajaji. <laughs> what in the we're gonna end it by saying you the goat. Thanks. And all of us in journalism, I feel like you don't have to compete with us. You might. We not journalism, bro. Stop that shit. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan doesn't want to play ball. With Harold Miner, and he just wants to play ball. Yeah. And he also doesn't want to play Miami, too. Yeah, 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 right? He also doesn't want to play ball with LeBron or Kobe, neither. He just understands who he is, and we hopefully, did you understand that you're the GOAT, you don't have to compete with none of us. You don't have to, like, God bless him. Rob Moss is one of my closest guys. Shout out to Rob. Shout out um, to Rob. Shout out to Rob. Shout out to Sway. Uh, shout out Sway, to Sway. Sway. Come on, man. Shout out to Sway. Legends. One, uh, two it. legends. And, and you know Martinez, what I want no smoke with Angie Martinez. Nobody doesn't want smoke with Angie Martinez. Nobody. Uh, Nobody. Uh, Angie, I'm about to uh, buy yeah. So, to, to go talk, but... It's all love. It's a motherfucking Yeah!